Today's tale is about a lady who extended the kindest of gestures to a couple of police officers. Two officers from the Kansas City Police Department were eating at Chili's when it all began. Encouragement to put pen to paper came when they began receiving a lovely and heartfelt surprise. While they were eating, a young woman accidentally left her napkin on the table. These officers found encouragement in the message and wanted to pass it on to others. When the police officers went to pay for their meal, the waitress informed them that the mysterious girl had already settled the bill. The police have looked for the teen on social media because they don't know who she is. Fox News reported the words of Officer Rance Quinn, who shared them with the reflective teen in question. His words of wisdom to them, the two had an impactful date. Never try to hide who you are, he warned. That's something you should remember forever. It was common knowledge that there has been a sizable anti-police movement in the past few years. Potentially discouraging results could discourage law enforcement personnel from continuing their efforts. There has been a surprising outpouring of support for the profession from previously quiet members of the public. Officer Rance and a co-worker, for instance, had lunch at Chili's the day before and talked about a wide range of topics over the course of their meal. Do you think you know how the tale concludes? Let's keep an eye out and see what develops. As one table at a nearby booth got up to leave, they were surrounded on all sides. One of the teenage girls at the other table brought us a napkin with the words, Thank you for keeping us safe, written on it. Before they could respond to the impact this young woman had on them, they packed up and left. Therefore, they sat remarking on how kind it was of them. The next family to arrive is a mom with her two kids, one of whom is deaf and has always wanted to meet a police officer. After chatting with their newfound friend, the two youngsters parted ways. When they asked for the bill at the end of their meal, the waitress informed them that the table behind them had paid for their meals. They located the note there on that table. The waitress claimed that she didn't have enough superlatives to describe how appreciative she was. What a wonderful and reverent people they are. They got to their feet and walked to the front door, where the lady greeted them and introduced them to her son. She showed her appreciation for her co-worker and his efforts by giving them both gift cards. She spoke highly of the military and law enforcement, and she herself came from a military family. He continued, saying that despite her desire to join, she was unable due to her deafness. Officer Rance noticed that she appeared to be crying when she looked into her eyes. They tried to argue with her, but she was unconvinced. She claimed that she had intended to pay for their meal, but the other group had paid for it already. As they left, so did she. Amazing as a group, they joked that they could live in Chile's indefinitely. Rance was the type of person who freely gives of his time, resources and knowledge. However, in this case, I'd like everyone to join me in hoping that the people responsible for these acts are able to see how much their kindness and generosity have meant to others.